Hi, I'm Jeff Davis. I'm an architectural photographer here in Denver, Colorado. I was born in Evanston, Illinois, and then but I grew up in Evergreen, moved to Evergreen, Colorado in 1980, so I've been out here for, well, it's, it's a good 30 years now. I really became interested in photography when I was in high school. I took the basic photo classes and had a great teacher up at Evergreen and just really enjoyed the, the art of it. And then actually I put some you know, a picture of my feet in a photography exhibit and it wound up selling, I believe, for about $25 to someone that I have no idea who they were. But that inspired me and made me think that, you know, maybe this was something that I'd want to continue to pursue. Uh, my camera gear, I use a Nikon D3 and then a, an assortment of Nikon lenses and flashes. I'm out here at a classic Denver Square home near Cheeseman Park, getting ready to shoot a gold tour. This is my sixth property of the day. We're sitting here at about two o'clock, so it's been a yeah, a full average busy day for me, running around the city and on uh, most days I'll shoot probably 1,000 to 1,500 pictures in a day. I've been shooting with OBO for the past eight years and shot, you know, some 10,000 plus properties. And generally I like to speak with the agent and, you know, ask them if there are certain details that they're looking for me to capture. I'm really going to concentrate on capturing the details of the home, especially, you know, you get some of these Denver properties that are have all the old details, homes that you know could be a hundred years old and have some of the original woodwork or they have some of the stained glass and you know unique fireplaces, um, proximity to a park, something like that where I'll walk over and, and take a couple shots of that for them, views, um, really any detail that might make that property stand out from from the average home. Typically I like to get a little further back and zoom in on the house so it doesn't look like uh, a weird angle as I'm looking up at the house or anything like that. So, I'll see what I can get without getting run over. It's always a good thing too. And I'm always going to do. A lot of people that have worked with me before, they'll see me shoot and realize that I'm going to take, you know, three to five shots of every scene, kind of bracket up the exposures, make sure I've got something within the parameters of what's going to work well. You know, you run into things like this where you have a huge apartment building up behind the house and a, so yeah, again, just trying to shoot to, uh, you know, capture as much of the character of the property as I can. The last thing I want to do is have to come back out to a property because I missed one angle or something like that. So, you know, digital film is cheap. I can always delete but I, it's hard to create a picture that I haven't shot. Now I always shoot everything in full manual. Um, you know, right now I'm at, that shot was a 60th of 5.6, was my last shot. Used a little flash to fill it in here to brighten it up. You know, these front porches are always a little bit dark. Human beings, our eyes can adjust and, and we can capture a, a very wide dynamic range, but a camera can't capture near what the, you know, what the human eye can see. So that's, uh, that's always the challenge, bringing up the light, you know, getting everything to look yeah. balanced. Geez, between cameras and lenses and lighting gear, I've got, Fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. You know, this this setup itself is a. Uh, eh, you're looking at about seven or so, just in this. You know, seven grand. Seven grand in camera, lens, and flash. Got another wide-angle uh, lens in there, and you know, backup flash, things like that. So, you know, I'm out here to to make good photos and please the customers, but I don't necessarily need all the accolades from every little. Every little thing like, you know, going the extra mile for the clients. Switch lenses over to my wide angle. Since we're moving to the indoors. So as I come into a property like this, I'm gonna go ahead and get on all the lights. You know, we wanna have as much ambiance as we can to make the house look as best as possible. You know, moving, doing little things like moving that lampshade so we don't see the seam and kind of adjusting so that we have all our shades at an even level. You know, a lot of these fine detail things that are end up being very important. Well, you know, I know that I'm gonna have enough. I've got white ceilings here. I know that I'm gonna be able to fill the light in. I ideally, if I can get them on, great. If I can't, then, you know, you just gotta do the best you can with, with the situation. So, okay. this is a situation where I know I can get it plenty bright. I wanna show this, 
you know, wonderful staircase here. Again, another feature that you're just not going to see in your average Denver home. Um, it's just discussing with the homeowner that this property is, you know, close to 100 years old, and a lot of these things are original and in wonderful shape. I mean, you you just don't see it, which is, you know, part of what makes the job fun, and it it keeps life interesting too. To uh, yeah, you know, see some of this history. Ten shots is enough to give me some overlap. Ideally, I never go through a click stop and miss one, but I can still get it to stitch together. Well, usually, I do a lot of panoramas in a row. In this situation, kind of shot this panorama because I knew that the family needed to to get back to using the kitchen, and, and we had to move a few things out of here. So that way, now they can have the kitchen back. We'll move on to going back to uh, shooting more stills and pick up the panoramas again later on. So now, finishing up the panoramics out here, we're just gonna do a 180 out front here. Um, decided that just because, you know, we're up here, there's a school across the street, there's a lot of cars on the street, yet we still wanna get a sense of the property and where it sits, but sometimes, you can do that without showing every little piece of everything so because we're here to mostly attract people to come out to the property if there's something that might deter them from coming out and doing that then we don't want to show that so all right on to the next shoot I am married, my wife Erin, and I've got two kids, uh, a girl Caroline and then my son is Jay. Hobby's a big hockey player, I um, like to snowboard, play golf in the summer, but hockey's probably my biggest passion right now and uh, you know, play once a week just with a, a group of buddies and at times play in men's leagues and tournaments and things like that. So. Uh, favorite real estate photography moment, hard to say. Um, you know, I think I enjoy meeting the people, meeting the, a lot of the pets, and uh, I guess some of the more memorable ones would be meeting some of the Avalanche players. Um, you know, I'm a beer guy, I guess. Uh, anything that's really cold, I've, I'm not picky. I'll drink the micro brews, I'll drink the PBRs, Budweiser, um, you name it. So that's it for the Secret Life of Jeff Davis. I'll look forward to meeting you on an upcoming photo shoot.